So normally carbon-carbon double bonds react via addition. So that's where you have a carbon-carbon double bond plus something makes one product. You're adding stuff. These are the five that you need to know for SL. But here's the strange thing. Benzene has carbon-carbon double bonds, but it does not react via addition. Benzene normally reacts via substitution, which is another way of saying swapping. For example, benzene and hydrogen. Well, you'd expect one of the double bonds between the carbons to replace by a single bond with the hydrogens on either side, like what happens with an alkene. But that isn't what happens. That's addition. And benzene doesn't undergo addition normally. It undergoes substitution. So with the chlorination of benzene, a chlorine is going to swap out for a hydrogen on the benzene ring. Now the benzene ring does have a ring of electrons above and below it. And these delocalized electrons give the ring very big stability. So it's going to be hard to break that ring and keep it broken. But it is susceptible to electrophiles, things that love electrons. So as an example, let's look at benzene plus chlorine, which gives me chlorobenzene and HCl. And you can see that one of the H's from the benzene ring has substituted with a chlorine. Now, how is chlorine an electrophile? How does chlorine love electrons? Chlorine itself is neutral. Ah, you need something called a halogen carrier, and the details of that are higher level. But the halogen carrier makes the chlorine molecule produce a Cl+. And anything positive is going to be an electrophile. It's going to want to be near electrons via electrostatic attraction. So what if I bung on a bit more chlorine? Well, I would make a dichlorobenzene. I could make one 2-dichlorobenzene, or the isomer 1,3-dichlorobenzene, or even more excitingly, maybe I would have made one 4-dichlorobenzene. Of course, the 1,5 is the 1,3, and the 1,6 is the 1,2, and is ignored. Now let's have a little think. What about if I had the chlorines across a single bond and the chlorines across a double bond? Are those different isomers? Well, you know, they're not. Because in actual fact, they're the same. Because there are no single and double bonds in benzene. It's delocalized. It's two rings of electrons. Wow. I feel like that guy from the Matrix explaining the truth to you. And the second one that you need to know about electrophiles is nitric acid reacted with benzene. So it looks like the proton in the nitric acid is the electrophile. It is, after all, positive. But in actual fact, you mix it all up in sulfuric acid, and that makes NO2+, and that's the electrophile. Now, since it's substitution, it's going to swap out with one of those hydrogens. Now, what am I going to be left with? I've got a couple of hydrogens and an oxygen left over, so that's going to be water. And again, in higher level, you need to know this in much more detail. 